kid you not, it's like 1.15 in the morning. It's 1.15. Uh, I can't really sleep right now. So I'm gonna do what's best, or at least I'm gonna do what I do best and let my tinkering mind build on something. So tonight or today, this morning, super late, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and start working on upgrading the MX-350. Let's go. All right, so entering my garage. I'll leave the door open for the dogs, I don't know. I'll go ahead and start working on disassembling the Razer MX-350. Let's go ahead and get working to it. So in order to take off the body guys, what you guys need to do is unscrew the screw right here where the gas cap will go and the two screws that are holding the whole plastic together, the seat. So I'll show you where that's at. It's gonna be right here. And then the two screws that go here and here. You guys can see just how dirty this bike is. We're not gonna be needing none of the batteries or the motor. So we're just gonna go ahead, take off the battery cover, get all the internals tripped out. Let's go ahead and do that. And then to take the cover off guys, it's gonna be a total of six screws. One, two, three, four of the long bolts and one, two of the short bolts that look like this. Should be pretty easy. Uh, I'm gonna call it a night. Continue working on this MX350 in the morning. Uh, it's, it's 12 o'clock in the afternoon. I hella overslept, that's okay. I got the crazy carts charging later today in the afternoon. I'll be mobbing them around with a few friends and we're gonna be hitting some lines. It's gonna be badass. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and bring out the MX-350. Then we're gonna complete on disassembling, taking out the batteries, controller, and even the motor because we won't be needing it. All right, so to take out the batteries, we're gonna have to take out this screw right here. Same as the one on the other side. Controller has two screws as well. One right here and another right here. And then we'll go ahead, after taking out the battery controller, we'll go ahead and take off the cover. We won't be needing it no more. And the motor. You guys can see we remove the battery and the controller as well leaving just the frame go ahead remove the motor and the sprocket cover As you can see in order to take this off you would have to take out the whole wheel assembly but i'm not trying to do that so i'm just going to skip that and just break that way I'm just able to loop it out. Just like that. Not gonna be needing it no more, and I'm gonna do the exact same thing to the back piece. Let's see. I'm gonna almost the bike over. Alright. Yep. Parts are easy to break, and they're not really necessary. So that's why I'm just breaking it. Just like that. Those pieces are off. These parts don't even matter. I'm gonna be throwing them away anyways. So that's why I'm breaking them. Now, last but not least, we can go ahead and remove the motor. All right, so I got the bike 
bare bones, no motor, no battery, bone, stock, clean state. Here's the motor. Not like I said, I won't be needing it, so we'll just put that to the side. Yeah. You can see it fits perfectly in that space as that part breaks off. What the fuck? Okay, guys, so I didn't break the field box. The uh, part just came loose, but as you can see, the field box fits perfectly inside the frame. I don't know if I'll be able to reuse these covers. I don't think so. Oh, there goes one of the bolts. I don't think I'll be able to reuse it. Let's see. I mean, I probably can if I trim out some of the plastics. I can make it fit. But it's not necessary. I also have to figure out where to mount the huge 72 volt controller and the motor as well. Just to give you guys a little perspective, this is what the stock motor and controller look like compared to the motor that would be thrown in and the controller. Just dwarfs him in comparison. I showed you guys the uh, matrix adapter plate that just bolts right on, but I'm gonna figure out a way how you can fit this motor without using an adapter plate that can bolt just right in with a few modifications. Then the controller as well, you can just see, basically takes up the whole seat area. So I'll figure out some sort of way to hold it all together. So now with the chain tensioner off, you can see I have way more space to play with. And it looks like I'll be able to throw that motor on there. Go ahead and line up. There we go. Yeah, so you can see that I'm able to line up that motor pretty comfortably inside this plate. You can see it used to have feet, but I bent them out to fit them on one of my Razer MX uh, 650s, but I did a motor swap. Anyways, uh, I should be able to figure out something. I think I should be able to bolt it on to the chain tensioner. Where is it at? If I take out this bolt and get a longer one, I can thread it to one of these uh, threaded holes. And then just on the other side, I can go ahead and make a bracket that will connect it to one of these holes as well. Either this one or the one on the bottom. But yeah, it looks like it'll work. It looks like it'll work out. Uh, the controller, I'm just gonna have it sitting under here. And well, that's about it. Can't really do much. Uh, I don't have the battery just yet. So as of right now, it's just the controller, the motor and the frame. Next video, uh, hopefully I'll get everything assembled and ready. So that way I can just have the battery come in and do a speed test or something like that. But that's it for today's video. Motomoy is out. Make sure to follow for part two.